What's up guys, how's it going? It's your boy Midnight Man and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream directly from your PlayStation 4 without a capture card. I already knew how to do this but I went and did some research and I saw that a lot of the videos that show you how to do this are just old. The PlayStation UI has changed a little bit and those tutorials were a little bit all over the place. They just weren't making sense they weren't easy to follow so I'm like you know what I'm gonna make my own tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to do it the easiest way possible not a lot of stress simple done BAM life is good before I get into the tutorial the tutorial the tutorial that is a tongue twister I really want to start streaming myself I have a capture card and all that fun stuff but I'm just trying to make the decision of what platform should I use it on so I'm doing one of those interactive fun video polls. Here it is right here. Click on this and I want to know should I stream on this YouTube channel, Midnight Man, my main channel. Should I make a second YouTube channel to stream and that'll just be for my gaming stuff and streaming. The third option is just should I stream to Twitch because a lot of people are moving to Twitch to do a lot of videos. They think YouTube is not the place to stream and Twitch would be a good place to start that up. I already have a Twitch channel. It's uh, KenPow468. You can go follow it. Link's description below. But should I just start streaming there? I I'm wondering. I I mean, I don't have my Midnight Man name. I, I realize that, whatever, but you guys know where to find me if you want to really find me. So do the poll, let me know. I'll look at the percentages and I'll make the final choice of where I should go to start streaming. Cause I want to do it. It looks like fun, everybody's doing it. Besides that, to begin the tutorial, what you want to do is hop right into a game. As you can see, I'm playing Fortnite right now. What else would I be playing, honestly? But if you pick your controller up, you take a look at it, you see that share button right there? You just want to press that once and then you can go to broadcast gameplay. And this is where all the fun stuff happens. So you can choose what you want to broadcast on. For this instance, I'll choose Twitch. And on this next screen, it's asking me to sign in. Now, if you're already signed into YouTube or Twitch, you're good to go. You can just skip ahead a little bit to, to this time. But to sign in to Twitch, just want to select the sign in button. So the first step to link my Twitch account is that I have to go to twitch.tv slash activate or I can scan a QR code and it'll still take me to the website that's listed right there. Go ahead and log in with your Twitch credentials you want to stream on. I made it to the second screen here. I can put in the code and I'm done. And now look at that right away on my PlayStation. It's linked. All right, we're good to go. So now PSN and Twitch are linked up. I can now select Twitch again, and now I can view all the settings that I have before I stream. So let's start at the top here. One thing you can select is options for the advanced settings. It's really good to select this. Uh, I don't have a camera, the PlayStation camera. That's the only camera you can use as a face cam on the PS4 if you wanna stream, which I think kinda sucks. I didn't feel like dropping, what is it, 40 or 50 bucks for it. If I had a PlayStation 4 camera, you could plug that in and this setting right here wouldn't be grayed out. You could go into it on screen right now. Those are the settings that you can mess with. And basically they're just options for how you want your face cam to look, where you want to place it on the screen while the broadcast is happening. Next up, audio sharing settings. Uh, if you have a mic, you can have that included in all the clips. So you can include it in the broadcast. And if you're in a party, you can share that audio if you want. So usually you won't one don't want to look like you're talking to yourself so it's good to have the party audio in there also include that audio from the microphone in the broadcast as well displaying messages from the spectators in the comments that's always a good one to have just so you keep engagement up uh, also message to your spectators yeah you can uh, create one of those if you would like usually something good to add in just like a little high or whatever whatever comes to your mind you're the you're the creator you also have comments to speech which is not a usual thing i would put on and also link community to your broadcast which is um that's pretty nice to have so at least you can get some more viewers to your stream now that you have the advanced settings together one last thing that i suggest you check before you start the stream are your microphone levels unfortunately you can't do it just from the settings here you have to go back into your playstation menu Go to your settings, and you wanna scroll down to devices, and then audio devices. And here you can adjust the microphone level just to make sure it's good. You don't want it too high or too low because then people won't be able to hear you on your stream. And you especially don't want your gameplay roaring over your, your voice. That, that, will, that will just not sound good at all. If your microphone settings were good already, you didn't have to go through those steps. Uh, and you can just stay where you were uh, on this screen, but now that you're all good to go, you can set a title for the stream. You can set the quality. If your internet's not too poor, 720p standard or 720p at 60 FPS is good enough. Once you feel good about all your settings, you can go down and start the broadcast. 
Now, I'm going to test this out just to make sure it works on Twitch. I do have a couple Twitch followers already. Uh, hopefully, they don't start watching expecting to see something amazing because they're not. Start the broadcast. Yeah, I know it's going to include audio. I said that. Let's start it anyways. Oh, wow. We're live. We're live. I want to see this. I wonder, if, I wonder if anybody shows up. Live on Twitch on the PlayStation 4. The screen is a little bit small on the PS4, so you can't see as much. But I did have that setting selected to see the comments on the side so I could be engaged with the viewers. All right, I think I'm good here. Let's, hey, I know there's one person here. This is, I'm making another tutorial. I'm making a tutorial. If that ever goes through to you in time, but I'm, I'm going off the air now. But I'll, I'll actually do Twitch if that's what people want me to do to the you one viewer that is here right now. I'm gonna try to get some more followers on here. All right, so once you're done with your broadcast, you can just select that button and you can go off the air by selecting stop broadcasting. Okay. All right, and that's it. We broadcasted, and now we're not broadcasting anymore. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully it helped you out. It's pretty easy to stream right from your PlayStation 4. No capture card, you don't have to spend all the extra money. If this is the only platform you wanna to use to stream to Twitch or YouTube, then maybe it'd be worth it to get that PlayStation camera. It's not too, too expensive. It would be a cheaper option than getting a capture card and then getting a webcam. So you have that to think about. And again, don't forget to answer the poll that's, that was up here so I know what platform I should be streaming on, to this channel, to a second channel, or to Twitch. I, I am kind of feeling Twitch because I should just build up another, uh, I don't know, audience somewhere else. I think that would be cool. But you guys let me know. That's gonna be the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Smash the thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.